Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me here in this video where I'm going to be showing you how to automatically install WordPress on GoDaddy. I'm also going to show you how you can get a discount on GoDaddy hosting and a free domain. So if you guys have a few minutes, stick around and I'll show you how to set it up. And then after that, if you guys need some help actually setting up your own website, you can check out my channel. I have a ton of brand new videos on how to do that. And they're all step by step and super simple to follow. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to set up GoDaddy hosting and do the automatic WordPress installation. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to my website's hosting discount page so we can get the discount on the hosting. And the link to that page is createwpsite.com slash promos. And once we get here, I'm just going to click on the GoDaddy offer and that's going to automatically apply the discount for us. And now we're going to jump right in and start setting everything up. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is click on this green get started button. And this is where we're going to choose our free domain name. So whatever you want your website to be called, you can check here to see if it's available. And once you decide on a name, you can just enter it here. I'm going to enter mine. And now I'm going to click on search to see if it's available. Okay, it is. So I'm going to click on select and continue. And as you can see, our promo code has been applied to our entire year of hosting. So we got the discount, which is cool. And now we're just going to click on create account. All right, and now we're going to fill out this form for our GoDaddy account. And some of this information is going to be blurred out just for privacy reasons, obviously. But all we're going to do is enter our email address. If you don't have one, I just recommend maybe going to Google and signing up for a free Gmail account. And then you're going to come up with a username and a password and then also a PIN number. And these can be anything you want. Just make sure you guys save all this info somewhere. So when you need to log into GoDaddy, you can. So now I'm just going to enter in my information. Okay, and then after we have all that filled out, we're just going to click this green create account button. Okay, now I'm just going to put my billing info in. All right, and once that's all done, we can go ahead and click on save. Okay, now I'm going to be using a card to pay. They also have PayPal too. You guys can choose any method you like though. They'll all take us to the same place in the end, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. All right, now my payment info is in, so I'm just going to click on this blue save button. And then we're ready to complete the purchase, so we're just going to click on this green button here. Alright guys, and that's it. We got our hosting now, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so what we're going to do now is click on this blue Add Site button. And then we're just going to leave everything like it is, build a brand new site, and then wherever it's recommended, you can just uh, put it there. And now we're going to uh, come up with a WordPress username and password. So just like for the other stuff, just come up with a username and a password and then uh, make sure you save that information somewhere. Okay, and then after you do that, you can just click on Add. And this is just currently installing WordPress for us. All right, and that's it. WordPress is installed. That's the uh, simple one-click WordPress install right there for you. And uh, now we're just going to click on this blue WP Admin button. And then once we get to this page, just go ahead and click on No Thanks. And that will just automatically take you to your WordPress dashboard. And this is the place where you go whenever you want to edit your site. Okay guys, so before we do anything, we're going to go verify our email from GoDaddy. And so we're just going to go to our email accounts. And there should be a uh, email from GoDaddy that says, uh, please verify your email address. And here's mine. And just click on verify email now. Okay, and that's it. It's been um, verified. 
Okay, now I'm back over on my WordPress dashboard and I'm just going to refresh this page right here. And then after you do that where it says no, just click on change domain. And now click on add domain and find your uh, domain right here. Mine's already selected and uh, make sure this is selected. Uh, it says make this primary domain for the account. And then after you have everything selected, hit uh, add. Okay, and we're just going to wait on this to update. Just take a couple minutes. All right, now that's been updated. And what that just did is change the uh, location of everything that we're going to be making on our WordPress website. So it's no longer to uh, this FTP upload site. It's now going to all be on our main domain. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to show you how you log into your WordPress account anytime you need to edit something on your site. So what we're going to do is uh, open up a new tab and then you're going to take your website and you're going to put it in and then you're going to put slash wp dash admin after the dot com or dot net whatever your uh, domain is and then after that click enter and then when it comes up here all you do is uh, put in your account information that you created earlier so again it's just your domain name slash wp dash admin anytime you want to log into your wordpress account all right, so I just put my information in. Now I'm just going to click log in. And now this will take us right back to the WordPress dashboard. And now we can start finally building the actual site.